Hello Cancer, it's Mary from the Tarot Shop and this is your tarot reading for the month of September. Um, as usual, I'll take an oracle card and six tarot cards to see if there is a generic message that the cards would like to give you for the month ahead. Um, as I always say, please remember it's generic, so therefore if it doesn't make any sense then that's fine. If it doesn't resonate with you, you'll listen straight away and go, mm-mm, or yes. Um, also maybe try out your moon and or your rising signs because sometimes energetically we're working more with that area of our chart than we are with our sun so you may find there's a message there for you instead so having said all of that then let's pop these to one side and see what we have in store for you for the month of september i always find cancer quite interesting because um i'm surrounded by cancerians actually so i'm they're going through fairly similar um shedding of the skin moving away from the past into the new kind of lifestyle so let's see if that comes through for the month of september it may have moved on so cancer as it feels as if it was that card yes it was it kind of jumped out high priest intend and create so now what we need to do is make our mind up what we want cancerians and go for it so intend and create. Let's see how this resonates with the reading. We'll take six tarot cards. The other thing I wanted to say to you is um, that we're going through planetary, oh, it's like doing a back step. <laughs> quite a few of the planets are actually having quite a bit of a large effect. We're all very tired at the moment. It feels as if we're stuck in mud. We can't seem to move forward. So energetically wise, I mean, life might be fine, but um, it feels as if, you know, we really are putting ourselves through the paces. Right. OK. Cancer, month of September. I've given them a good shuffle, as you saw. Let's go. I've got my little old dog snoring in the background, so I'm not quite sure if you can hear her. She's very clingy these days and she won't leave my side, so I'm afraid that if you can, please. She's quite happily snoring away at the moment, so. It's not distracting, I find it really comforting actually, and I'm used to working with her around. Right, okay. So, you're very concerned with your health at the beginning of the month, and it's about getting healthier. So we open the month with, right, I want to get into shape. I want to, I want to get well. I want to be in the best fighting position that I can be in for some reason. Do you know what I mean? It's like you really want to take control of this situation. And it's about your mind as well. It's about your thoughts. So you are, um, are trying to take control of the way you think about your health. I do feel as if it's health. And it's about just fitness, general overall fitness, but you're victorious. So you begin the month by being very focused on taking control of your health and the way you think about your health. So your thought process, because you see kings take responsibility for things. So you're taking responsibility of the way you think about it. And actually, you end up being victorious. So you're taking charge of it and it's working well for you. Um, now... just a moment i just i'm listening because you've got three major arcanas here so it's important i need to get this right you're taking care of your health taking charge of it you need to take where aware you need to take charge also of the way you feel about life you need to understand and this is what the cards are saying that there's this very strong connection between how we think and how we feel and that's where the intend comes in. So actually, your thoughts, you know thoughts create things, don't you? So thoughts create things. If you think negatively, then it's very difficult to get yourself out of that situation. If you think positively, then you'll feel differently about it. It's almost like you need to go to a happy club. Do you know what I mean? Just to kind of bring that energy up. It's all about energy. And that's what I need to tell you is, is that I have some big news for you, but I need to explain this to you initially. How we think and how we feel create our reality. Do what you can. If your energy is low, 
when you've been through this, you're keeping fit, you're, you're managing to take charge of that, play music, do whatever it is that lifts your mood, lifts that vibration because things are about to change. Get yourself into that good feel, that feel good, not good feel, feel good because, wow. Now, you are being called towards your... Um, you're being told to wake up by the universe, basically, because you've got bigger fish to fry. You've got the judgment call card here, which is saying, right, it's time to wake up. You've been asleep for a very long time. We're just living. And basically, there's a message here for you from the point of view that this is a turning point in your life. OK, so September's monumental for you. It's a turning point. It's a turning point. The chariot takes control and says you are going to take you're going to be the master of your own destiny. So I don't really know how the universe is going to provide that to you. I actually feel very much as if you're in charge of this. So how we think, we take control of your thoughts and your feelings, take charge of the situation, and you will because you've got the victory card there. So you can, if you want to, take and charge of it. You're in charge. Intend and create. It's your, your, your life, your destiny, because you're being woken up from the past and moved forward like okay like wake up your life is waiting for you it feels as if your life is waiting for you this life that you've always dreamed of that you've always wanted is about to go and you absolutely rock it forward now the chariot is fast movement so once you've dealt with that actually you're able to move forward at great speed and the high priestess tells me that you will do this intuitively. And actually, this is a cosmic time. You've got a cosmic card and a cosmic card. Judgment is Archangel Gabriel says, hey, wake up. You're worth more than this. You have more to give to life. You're not fulfilling your, you're not living to your dreams, your higher purpose. You know, there's more for you. Have faith and trust and, and feel that, that we love you. That is, you know, you're worth so much more. I don't really know how else to explain that, but it feels as if it's very much a, a divine message here. We that they care about you, that, that you have a greater purpose in life, and actually you're going to move forward into that greater purpose this month. Something major is going to happen here where the opportunity is going to arrive and the universe is about to start providing for you. The high priestess says it's intuitively, it's important that you follow that gut feeling of yours. And actually, it's synchronicities divine guidance this is a special time but you need to take action though make no mistake you will take action so out of all of that my advice to you this month is manage your thoughts manage your feelings take charge of it all and wait and watch and feel the right direction to take because you're going through this time in your life where you can turn your dreams and your wishes and everything you desire into a reality. It's a very magical month for you, Cancer. Okay, so I hope that you found that useful. And um, whew, I'm quite exhausted, actually, with that energy. So, um, yeah, good month. If it doesn't resonate with you, then, as I said, please also listen to your moon or your rising. But I do feel that this was quite a strong message, actually, that came through the cards. So thank you very much for your time. Bye-bye.